Jenny here with Sipping Streams Tea Company. So today I'm featuring our Arctic Bliss. This was my first award that we ever won with Sipping Streams Tea Company. It was also my first entry that I ever put in and it won third place in the North American Tea Championships for blended white teas. So I was really proud of this because my mom and I harvested all these hundreds and thousands of fireweed flowers by hand south of um, Cantwell by Denali National Park just miles of this stuff. We spent a whole day harvesting literally like a whole carload of this stuff. And then on top of that, we didn't know how we we're going to dry it fast enough because we didn't have a dehydrator that could dry thousands of flowers that were going to potentially mold because you'll notice these flowers are very um, kind of like tight and they they shrink a lot actually but um it holds in a lot of water and moisture and so this is something that definitely needs to be dried right away or rotated or flipped over all the time and so when we were drying these thousands of flowers in our yard um we're like oh my goodness how are we gonna dry this and i was like hmm, just like they do at a tea farm mom we're gonna put them on tarps we're gonna dry them just like white tea we're gonna He's like, oh no, it's going to rain. Okay, we gotta put up all these big tents over them and cover them up so they don't get re-wet again. So we were air drying all of these fireweed flowers and leaves just like you would process white tea in China. And then it was in the white tea blended category, so it went really well with the sweetness and the tartness. And Lobish cranberries have a lot of vitamin C and um, antioxidants in them too, and they can withstand drying very well because they have a thick, leathery skin to the cranberries. So um, this is something I thought would be able to withstand many infusions. So that was my idea of formulating this unique Alaskan fireweed blend. So let me show you. A little bit of what this Arctic Bliss looks like. We have whole fireweed flower blossoms, not pods, not buds. It has to be the um, actual flower blossoms. And then whole cranberries, Alaskan lobish cranberries. Um, in Europe, sometimes they're called lingonberries, and it's super colorful and pretty. And then just the silver needles, like the white tea for sweetness. And, and then there's fireweed leaves in there too, because just sometimes like you just need a little bit more body and strength, more like the profile, um, more flavorful, like a green tea, even though it's a white tea. And just because our white tea is very light and mild does not mean it lacks any flavor at all. This won third place at the North American Tea Championships. And since then we've won um, 10 more international awards. So we have won first place at the top tea infusions competition at the World Tea Expo, which means essentially it's like the international barista competition, but, but for tea, where you have to find the perfect infusion of that tea. Our teas typically can be received up to four times, and so sometimes it's the second or third time that is much better tasting than the first time. In the Chinese tea ceremony, typically it's just rinsed out and thrown away. So this is a tea that you can definitely re-steep up to four times. This is an award-winning tea. And um, just this past March, we actually won second place at the Global Tea Championships with our ginseng oolong. And that's a tea that we source. So for the Arctic Bliss, when they judge the tea, they judge it mostly on flavor and the appearance of the liqueur, but they're not looking actually at the beauty and the art artistry that goes into the flowering and the dancing or agony of the leaves. But this is a, uh, a tea that definitely should be enjoyed in a glass vessel, just so you can see the flowers rehydrate and turn back pink, like pop their pink color and the berries rehydrate and it just, smells just like the boreal forest um like typically fireweed likes disturbed soil so it's typically grown where there was a fire the next year and you might even find some morel mushrooms in that area too so i have some um hot water and i'm just gonna pour right into my arctic bliss And you might notice I don't have a strainer for this one. So for this teapot, this is just a personal teapot. I actually don't have a strainer, but I put a strainer over my cup. And so you'll see all the silver needles um, hanging down. And what's nice about the King of Silver Needles white tea 
it is that it's a tea that is naturally sweet. The part of the plant, the tea plant that it's plucked off of, it's actually a mutated tea leaf that will never grow into a full leaf, but it's just the buds. So some people say it's the baby tea leaves, and actually it could be, or it could be a more mature tea leaf, but typically it just grows as a needle and will never open up as a full tea leaf. And it's typically the sweetest part of the plant. So typically, in a, a regular quality tea or a high quality tea, you want two leaves and a bud. Well, when they say bud, they don't mean like a flower blossom. They actually mean these strands that you see here for the white tea. There is this variation in the liqueur and you can almost see like there's this fogginess that's moving around. This cloudiness, but almost like this change in viscosity. That signature of a very high quality tea. So anyways, that's a little bit of our Arctic Bliss. And when you see it in the, in the cup or in the pot, you'll see that's rehydrated again. That's kind of, oops, plumped up. And, and we don't grind up our berries or our flowers. We typically want whole particles because that's what's going to allow it to reinfuse multiple times. Typically things that have been crushed and is a lower grade will only have a liqueur or like a good flavor for the first steeping maybe. And it's usually really strong the first steeping. High quality teas you can be reinfused multiple times and actually builds on the character of that tea slowly releasing the flavor of it. This is something that is definitely unique to Alaska and I hope that you all get to enjoy this amazing flavored beverage that is has nothing flavored in it. It's all natural. Oh, and it's so good and rich. So thank you so much for joining us. This is Sipping Streams Tea Company. My name is Jenny. And please let me know if you have any questions, any interesting topics that you would like for me to cover. Please Put your comments below, share this with your friends, and thank you again for joining us.